Whether you're a plinker, a daytime hunter, or a nighttime hunter, Athlon's got a new ballistic app just for you. Let's dive in and see how it works. First, we're gonna start by creating a rifle profile. This is gonna be for my Ruger 223, so I'm gonna go ahead and name it that, Ruger 223. I'm gonna put in my twist rate. Uh, I know this is a one and eight. It's on, their, it's on Ruger's website, it's stamped on the barrel. My scope height, I've already measured from the center of my barrel to the center of the scope is about two inches. I'm not gonna worry about the click value right now, but we are gonna do mill for the scope. And then the reticle is a first focal plane. So this would be for like my daytime scope. So I'm gonna use the Cronus here. And we're gonna go ahead and hit done and done. That's gonna save that rifle profile right there. And then I'm gonna create a bullet for this as well. We do have some libraries here, a loaded cartridge, a G7 ballistic coefficient, G1, and then for pellets, we have some pellets as well. I'm gonna go into G1 and I'm gonna look for my bullet. It's a 224 uh, diameter bullet in a 223 Remington. And then I'm shooting a 53 grain VMAX. And that's gonna drop in our bullet length, if available, uh, bullet diameter, bullet weight, G1 ballistic coefficient and then our bullet speed. I've chronographed this at the range already. It's 3,100 feet per second. And since I'm gonna be using this for night predator hunting with this thermal, I'm gonna set a 50 yard zero. I'm gonna zero the thermal at 50 yards. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. If you had any notes that you wanna put with this caliber, maybe you know that uh, uh, this gun really likes this round. Uh, maybe you're a reloader and it doesn't like being pushed real fast, or maybe it does. You can put a little uh, annotation here for yourself as a reminder, but I don't have anything that I need there. Uh, we do need to give it a name. So I'm gonna call this my 53 grain VMAX and hit done. That's gonna save it there. Now, we've created our rifle, we've created our bullet profiles. If we wanted to go in and delete these out or make changes, we can go right back into the profile and we can hit edit. You can see that that rifle profile is selected, has a check mark next to it. We'll hit edit, it'll take us into it. If we wanna delete rifle profiles, come up here to the hamburger menu. You're gonna click rifle and bullet profiles and hit select. I can delete just the bullet or the rifle and bullet combination. I'm not going to, we're gonna need that right now, but that's how you would do it if you needed to. On this ballistics app, you can either slide to select your target distance, your wind speed and your target angle if you want to change your wind direction, you can either drag it or in all four of these fields, you have the opportunity, the ability rather, to go ahead and come in and type in what distance you want to shoot. Um, let's say that I'm shooting on level ground and maybe I have a five mile an hour wind today and it's coming from uh, roughly three o'clock. It's gonna go ahead and generate how much we would need to dial or hold over right here at the bottom. You do have a ballistics chart. You can go into settings and modify if you wanna see the time of flight, the velocity, how much energy is remaining at a certain distance. Uh, same thing with your elevation and windage. If you want to see how much drop you have in inches or mill values or MOA values, you can turn those on and off right here. We're just gonna leave that set up for now. We're not gonna need it. We can go into our reticle. This is really meant for guys using daytime scopes. A really cool thing here, we can select a target and it will superimpose it onto your reticle. And you can see your subtension details right here on the reticle and see exactly how far each individual subtension is going to get you. Uh, on a second focal, there's gonna be a slider at the bottom. You're going to be able to adjust your magnification, whether you're on two power, 12 power, 20 power, and those are gonna go ahead and update, regardless of your reticle validity, it'll give you a true distance. So really cool feature, especially for LPBO hunters that are using like our one to six or one to eight, you're shooting straight wall cartridges, there's a lot of drop, you really need to get that as close as possible to give you the best chance of, of hitting what you're aiming at. So really cool function there. We can adjust the weather here at the bottom. Uh, if you touch the icon, it's going to pull from a local weather station. You can also manually plug that in. If you want to use density altitude, that's an option as well. 
All right, so we wanna get ballistics onto our new Athlon ATS Pro Thermal. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna turn on the thermal and we're gonna make sure that our Wi-Fi is turned on. And then we're going to go into our Wi-Fi connections. Your Wi-Fi is gonna pop up here under Wi-Fi connections. It's gonna say Cronus ATS Pro. So as soon as that pops up, right there. If it's the first time using this thermal, you're gonna to have to put in a password. It's pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now that we're connected to this thermal, we're gonna come back into the app and go to connect device. And we're gonna enter the device and edit the profiles. So this particular thermal, you have quite a few options, A through J for profiles. And of course you can have multiple zeroing distance for each profile. We're gonna use profile A, that's my Ruger rifle and the 53 grain VMAX bullet profile that we've just created. And then we can come into our reticle here and we can kind of play with the color palettes and get an idea of what we want this to look like before we even get into the field. So I do like using mill reticles. I really like mill number one. On the sepia background, it's gonna be a little hard to see. So I think I'm gonna change this to white and then I need a holdover color as well. So I'm gonna give maybe a blue holdover value. Let's go red and we can see it right there. It's kind of small on the screen, but it's there. And then we can adjust our brightness of our screen here as well. Okay, now when you hit done, it's gonna transfer all that data to your scope. You're gonna get a little memo at the bottom, data transferred successfully. Those profiles are now in that scope. That's all there is to it. When you're ready to go out to the field, go into your thermal, make sure that you have the ballistics calculator turned on. Since that profile is in 50 yards, we're gonna make sure that our zeroing distance on this thermal is at 50 yards as well. And then for ranging, if you wanna use continuous, it's gonna give you the values, how much you need to hold over. Um, but if you want to really utilize the BDC holdover function, uh, for lack of a better description here, there's a line that's gonna light up for exactly where you need to hold. If we're shooting this 450 yards, somewhere down on the reticle subtension, there's gonna be that um, little line that we've dictated uh, what color we want to pop up and show you exactly where to hold over. So for that, we're gonna use single ranging. And we are in single ranging and we're good to go. That's all there is to it. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Athlon, ridiculously good optics.